welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. So, to yesterday what we worked on was this um, area. Uh, we developed it pretty well. Um, got train station and a cargo hub, which seems to be transporting a lot of people coming in and out of this area. I'm not sure why there's so many people, but there is some commercial and some other things. Um, now we still have this area over here and this seems to be getting backlogged because of the stop sign. So we'll probably turn the stop sign, or is it a light? I think that's a parked car. Yeah, it's probably parked. So we'll, we'll turn off the stop sign so people can get out of here a little bit quicker. And we'll set junctions, turn that to off and that should help a little bit. Okay, we'll see how this actually affects this part. We might have to move the road somewhere else. Okay, it's starting to backlog there. We'll just let it run its cycle and see what how it does. We'll, it will probably take a while for this to fully go down, but um, we'll just keep an eye on it. For the meanwhile and um, if it becomes a problem then we might be able to move the garage and kind of bring the road around maybe and that might help with the traffic a little bit but we'll see um, it might just be too much of a short intersection here we'll see like how it turns out because right now this is starting to back up a little bit but hopefully it won't be too much of an issue um, it doesn't seem to be going too much down over on this side. It will it will eventually go down far enough, but I'll just keep an eye on Actually, it's going down quite fast. And then this is backing up. It'll sort itself out, I think. Um, balance out the traffic, I think, like that. Uh, we could always put a stop sign there, uh, but then we'll just run into the same issue, so... I don't know. I, I wish there was a yield uh, mechanic into the game. Like, if we use mods, there would be, but I don't know. I just last time I tried recording the series, it just, and um, they updated and it basically broke several mods that I had installed, and some of the mods weren't actually going to update, and I'm just like, okay, whatever. So.
80 then. So what I ended up doing was buying a little bit more land. I know that we're probably going to end up, um, if we come back to the game, we're probably going to start a new save. Uh, because I think we're pretty much maxed out on all the land pieces now. So we have that one. We started with this one, I think, and then we expanded to that one and then all the other ones there. But um, if you look at how many chunks we have, we have about nine chunks. So, and I noticed that there isn't any more unlocking things either. So I think we've actually completed pretty much the unlocking thing. So we're pretty much done, I guess. Um, though there's still some stuff that we can expand to on this side. There's that castle we might be able to turn into something or... There's a lake here. There's a few different extra ones. I just went with uh, what was available for most resources and um, what do you call it? The buildable surface. So basically I expanded over onto this side because it had the most resources and um, most buildable area. There was a little spot over here that we could expand it to, but there wasn't as much resources. So I just went with these ones. All right, so with that being said, we did get a little bit more area unlocked for things that we can do ferry services with. There's that factory over on this side that we can demolish or do something with, depending on how we want to structure the area out. It's pretty flat over here. Let's take a look at where the resources are. Okay, we got a lot of oil in that area. Um, got some ore over here. I can't... I didn't remember that we built on a ore um, thing in the city. I didn't realize that. Uh, we got forestry and then farming. So we got quite a bit of stuff that we can end up creating. Uh, we will need to flatten the area though in order before we build anything. Um, just trying to think how we're going to situate some of this stuff. We could bring out a... Because we have the railroad section here, so I don't want to create too much of a traffic jam. I already tried fixing this area as best as I could. Um, by adding in additional off-ramp lanes. Seemed to help a little bit. It was backed up to about here, so... Um, it's gone down quite a bit. Um... Yeah, it still gets a little bit backed up at times, but there's not much I can do for that. Like, that's the best I can do without having...
Alright, so what I've been starting to work on, I got some highways set up between some flattener areas that I worked on. Uh, these are kind of like a little areas that we will probably get done, um, if not by the end of the episode, hopefully, um, well not the episode, but like the, hopefully by the end of the series we'll have all these little areas uh, developed into their own unique little uh, divisions and stuff like that, but um, I got a couple connections up. There's this one over here that goes directly to that highway that we built for our um, pedestrian only way, and that goes and connects up to the intersection here. So that's kind of dividing the traffic a little bit, and there's another connection point over here which. Um, connects a little bit further up at that highway as well as the junction here so I'm hoping that it won't cause too much of a problem at this junction if not uh, then we can always make this a one-way thing and just have people go down this direction that might help a little bit but I'm not sure how that's going to play a role on this side because this is only a one direction so we'd have to fix that up uh, for sure if we're going to make it a one-way thing but We'll figure that out if it becomes a problem. I uh, got power already over and water's hooked up, so all we really need to do is start zoning the area down and getting uh, some industry in here. Now, this is all farming, a uh, pretty good farming place for uh, zone farming industry. I'm not going to put a, our industry over here. We already have a pretty big space over here for our farming industry, which is hogging a lot of um, industry stuff up, but... Uh, we can go ahead and zone this as industry and maybe go ahead with, um, what is this, uh, organic local produce uh, because it is farming industry and maybe uh, we can go with, oh, uh, we can do zones, can't we? Uh, let's go with uh, European suburban, sub suburbia, so we'll go with that one. And we'll see how that turns out. Um, I'm going to put some houses over here, maybe some commercial area, and then our industry, and then we can fill the rest up with uh, res residential area. I think that would be pretty good. So we can start with some zoned industry just to kind of fill in the gaps a little bit. We'll even just unzone some of those just so it's a little bit easier for development to spike. And then we'll set up the commercial, uh, maybe one or two commercial areas. We'll just do it splattered like that. So.
Alrighty then, so we got our district all set up. Uh, again, there's some shortage of workers, but uh, that's just because a lot of people go to our industry rather than working locally. And we'll probably fix that in the next couple episodes by reducing the um, production or something like that. I'm not sure how many people are actually working in these places. Yeah, there's it's still not full. Um, until next level, so we have like 800. Oh, we're so close too, aren't we? Oh, um, like I want to... We're actually losing money from this. Um, <laughs> but we have so many worker spots, but nobody's like coming here to work. Well, a lot of people are. That's why there's demand for um, industry workers and commercial workers and stuff like that, so... But uh, we got this little community set up. I put a mall in just to make it a little bit more nicer, I guess, and bring in the tourists. We also got a tourist park over on this area. So hopefully it will pull a little bit of tourists into the neighborhood and maybe people will settle down and be a little happy and stuff like that. I put some schools in. Can't really add too many trees because it's farmland and I don't want to ruin the agriculture area. But um, I did put a couple in on the high school. We can probably put one or two in here really quickly just to decorate it a little bit more than what we have. Uh, maybe one at this corner. There we go. You can kind of see the shade got a little bit greener. So, But uh, yeah, outside of that, we got a little uh, Euro our European suburban um, district uh, for the residential. really like how it turned out with the tall trees and stuff. And then we got uh, dirt paths and stuff over here uh, for the industrial area. So kind of like little back roads and stuff like that. What I would imagine it would look kind of look like. And I put some zoo paths over here just to kind of decorate a little bit more to make it look a little bit different. And yeah, I saw that. We got services, commercial, agriculture, and then our residential. So pretty happy with how it turned out. We'll probably do very similar things with other areas that I have splotted around uh, around here. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.